uh, first met Mufi in sixth grade uh, in uh, Latin class, Miss Bratch's class, and uh, Mr. Chinari, the lower school principal, brought him in, and uh, I looked up and I was thinking, who's this tall fellow, you know? And uh, he was still even taller than uh, the principal, and he sat right in front of me. And you know what? When I think about it, I think I was his first friend at Iolani High School. And, uh, but that day was interesting because he, about five minutes, ten minutes later, he kind of fell to the floor, softly, gently, and they came and got him and took him away. And I thought, boy, that was interesting. He walks in and then he walks out. And later on, uh, I, had, uh, I, had the, uh, I was fortunate enough to play uh, on this football team with him. And I would ask him to do it. Hey, move. Remember that first day in Latin class? What? What? What happened? How come you fell down? And he said, well, I just didn't feel like going to school that day. <laughs> I just laughed. He's a character, you know, he, he liked to make people laugh and a very likable guy. He always was out there to lend a helping hand for people that needed the help at the right time. You know, he was always there. We, we had a good friendship. We teased each other back and forth and it was like he was just a, just a regular guy. You know, even though he, he had skills, he had intelligence that was, you know, probably superior to a lot of not superior, but you know, much above average. He he just acted like a regular guy, and just a he was just a you know one of the boys, easy to talk to. Well, as as an artist, did you feel that he was he was encouraging for you and other artists? I mean, was he like? I know you all. You were also a jock too, because you also played football with him, right? And are you kidding me? And he's Mufi, also a he's also a Mufi singer. wants to be a singer. <laughs> he's going. He wants to be the next singing governor. <laughs> Fantastic. And I, and I bet you he would be the best singing governor that we have. Probably. Probably. I've heard him, I've heard him sing before, so there's no doubt. So, um, other than his abilities to sing, what would, what else would make him a great governor? Um, I think what I really think is his, uh, his experience. Because let's face it, you know, politics is a certain way of doing things. And uh, what I found out is that if you don't do the right things at the right time, in the right way, things are not going to get done. And I think that, and I'm even guilty of it. I feel that a lot of people, especially in the economy now, are not happy with the, the way uh, everything is governed. And they're trying to find someone who is new and they think they're a new person. The new kid on the block is going to solve all the problems. But it's, it's kind of uh, naive to think that way because the new kid on the block could have great intentions, but they all do. But once you get into the political arena, it's a whole different story. You gotta have experience. You gotta know people, you gotta know how to talk, when to talk, how to talk, how to maneuver. And I think that is where Mufi can get things done. Mufi, go get him, man. Keep going. In fact, next year, maybe you should run for president. I'm sure that you're gonna uh, make a good singing president too. My name is KK Kaminaka. Artist, entrepreneur, entertainer. And I support Muliufi Hanneman for governor. And I definitely approve this message.